Okay, welcome mathematicians. Today we're going to do a circle lab and I have two helpers here. Uh, please introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Libby. And what grade are you in? Uh, fourth. And would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Sienna and I'm in fifth grade. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the bike wheel over here. Yeah. Okay, so will you please come to the front wheel? This is the front wheel. Yep. And they're going to measure through the center going from edge to edge. So, Levy, maybe you can hold one side. 22. No, we're not going through the center. We need to go through the center. It is approximately 22 inches. Let's um, hold, hold it there, Sienna. Sienna, hold it over the center. There we go, and yep, that looks like 22 inches. Okay. Yep, 22 inches. Now, on this side, Libby, Sienna, will you please hold the bike up? Okay, Libby, draw a Hold it still. Hold it perfectly still. Libby, put a mark on the bottom of the tire that's touching the ground so we can see it really well. Okay, and then draw a line on the ground. Right. Connecting to the... Boomos. Perfect. So that's our starting point. Okay, now in a second, Sienna is going to roll the bike forward so that the tire does one revolution. That means one full spin. Can you step in front? Okay. And we're going to stop. Libby, you need to tell her when to stop because we need to tell it to stop once that mark is back on the ground. Okay, we're rolling around. Okay, and um, stop. stop right there. You see how no, draw another the mark is back down there. Libby's going to draw a line on the ground. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we can move the bike out of the way. Now we are going to measure that. Okay, then they're going to measure from start to beginning. You ready, Libby? Yes. Okay, Libby's going to hold the tape measure, or Sienna's going to hold the tape measure at the end. It is 70 inches. 70 inches. Now, girls, were we dealing with the inside of the circle or going around the circle? Around, around. the circle. So is this a circumference problem or an area problem? Circumference. 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 Okay, so when the tire goes around one time, guess how many circumferences that is? One. That's one circumference. How do we calculate circumference, Libby? Uh, you do. Um, oh, can I sing? Sure. Okay. Should I sing the whole song? I don't know. Or just the chorus? What do you think? Chorus. Chorus. Okay. okay. So it goes like this. Pi R squared sounds like area to me. When I need a circumference, I'll just use pi D. Okay, so how do we find circumference? I'll use pi diameter. Pi diameters. Okay, so we ended up, what was the measure? 70 inches. What was the diameter? Oh, 70. 22. 22 inches. So the question is, is pi times 22? 70. 70. Yes, it should be close. It should be close because one revolution of the wheel is one circumference. Circumference. Thank you, my circle assistants. Please take a bow. You did a wonderful job this afternoon. <laughs> Wait, goodbye. Okay, now we're inside and we're going to check our calculations to see yep. if, in fact, the circumference of the wheel is one revolution is 70 inches. So today... So, keep it on the ground. So today we're going to do 22... That was our diameter of our diameter. wheel. Then you do times 3.14. Which is what? Approximately pi. Very good. And then she's going to press enter. And we get 69 and 8 hundredths. What do you think of that? It's very close to 70. I think it works out, considering we weren't being precisely exact. Pi diameters, that is the circumference, that is one revolution of the wheel. Yep. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Hello, mathematicians. Welcome back. What we just learned from that demonstration is the big idea today, and that is one wheel rotation... This is also sometimes called a revolution or one turn. In other words, when the wheel spins around one time, that is equal to one circumference. So when you have a tire, and the tire spins around one time 
the distance that it travels is one circumference. So let's look at a few examples. Question number one. A bicycle tire, I'm going to draw the tire, has a diameter going all the way across of 18 inches. When the tire makes one full rotation, how far does the bicycle travel? So what we want to know is one rotation, and one rotation is just equal to the circumference. So we need to know the circumference. Okay, let's recall our formula for circumference. Circumference equals pi times diameter. So what do we know? We know that the diameter is equal to 18. And what are we trying to find out? We're trying to find out the circumference. So we know what we need to know. So circumference equals 3.14 times 18. You can punch that into your calculator. 3.14 times 18. That gives us 56 and 52 hundredths. But it says round my answer to the nearest inch. So because this is a 56.5, I'm going to round that up to 57 inches. So this tire with a diameter of 18 inches, when it turns one time, it's going to travel 57 inches on the ground. Next example. The radius of a monster truck tire. I'm going to draw it. Big tire. This time they tell us the radius is 32 inches. How far does the truck travel when the tire makes five rotations? So this time we don't want one rotation, we want five rotations. So first, what do we know? Well, we know the radius is equal to 32. We're going to use the circumference formula. Circumference equals pi times d. But we don't know the diameter. But if the radius is 32, we know the diameter is twice that. So the diameter equals 64. So circumference equals 3.14 times the diameter, which is 64. You can punch that into your calculator, 3.14 times 64. And that gives us 200.96. But that would be one rotation of the tire. Our tire is going around five times, so we have to take this one rotation and multiply it by five. And we get 1,000, oops. Let's erase that. We get 1,004 and 8 tenths. But it says round it to the nearest inch, so this would round up to 1,005 inches. So when this monster truck travels and the tire goes around five times, one, two, three, four, five, it travels on the ground 1,005 inches. Example 3. The diameter of a hamster wheel. Here's our hamster wheel. Move a little hamster in there. Wee. Cute little ears. Smile. Feet. A little fluffy tail. Do hamsters have tails? I don't know. The diameter of a hamster wheel is 15 inches. So, we can draw the diameter, 15 inches. How far does Hammy the hamster run when he makes the wheel turn around 100 times? So, our hamster is going to be running up, and this wheel is going to turn around 100 times. So, first we're going to find one circumference. What do we know? Well, we know that the diameter equals 15. And if we're finding circumference, diameter is a good thing. Circumference equals pi times diameter. So circumference equals 3.14 times 15. And we get the circumference is 47.1. But that would be one trip around the wheel. Hammy the hamster is running around 100 times. So we need to multiply that by 100. We're not going to use a calculator for that because when you multiply by 100, each digit just shifts up two place values. 
So 4 was in the tens place, now it goes up to the thousands. 7 goes up to the hundreds. 1 goes up to the tens. So we have 4,710 centimeters is how far Hammy the Hamster is going to run if he makes this wheel go around a hundred times. I'm not going to draw a hundred circles, but you get the idea. Okay, last example, the circumference of a skateboard wheel. So we have our skateboard. Whee. And we have one of these wheels. Let's look at it a little bigger. The circumference, ooh, is 30 centimeters. Okay, this time it doesn't give us the diameter, it doesn't give us the radius, it gives us the circumference. That means when this wheel travels around one time, it's going to go 30 centimeters on the ground. So we don't even have to calculate the circumference, it gave it to us. Okay, so the skateboard is traveling down a ramp. Whee! And the ramp is 2,460 centimeters long. How many rotations does the skateboard wheel make when traveling down the ramp? I'm going to bar model this real quick. So here's our ramp that's 2,460 centimeters long. And each time the wheel turns, it goes 30 centimeters. So we want to know how many 30 centimeters fit into 2,460. That sounds like a division problem to me. So, how about a little room here? We're going to divide 2,460 by 30. Let's make that look like a proper division sign. And that gives us... Eighty-two. But eighty-two what's? The question is how many rotations? So eighty-two rotations. So this was just a simple division problem. Because we know the circumference, we know how far it's going. All we had to do was divide.